his tagline is execute like the Spanish Inquisition. Now, if you don't know what the Spanish Inquisition is, it was way back long ago, thousands and thousands of people were tortured and killed. Welcome back to another video. Today, I present to you another garbage CEO. His name is Jordan. He is the CEO of this company called What's Busy. And how I found him is that someone linked one of his job postings on AngelList to my Discord. So if you happen to have any other garbage CEOs or corporate cringe or terrible jobs, feel free to post them. So the overview is he connects the offline world to the online world, blah, blah, blah. And he has five jobs available. They are all unpaid, no salary, no equity. But when you click on them and you read them, this guy's a douchebag. This is an unpaid opportunity. So if you're looking to maximize your pay, go apply to internship programs at Facebook or Google. If you're lucky, someone might look at your code one day. So that right there says a lot about this guy. If you're gonna work, you should get paid for it. The hypocrisy here is just all over the place. For example, we believe if something is valuable, you should be rewarded, except for all of my employees, especially my interns, um, we don't, you know. If people are going to give up their time, they need to be able to pay their bills for that time, which means you should pay them at least something more than exposure and the fact that they get no equity either. Remember, you can't take your exposure credit card and go buy food and groceries at the store. You can't take your exposure credit card or your exposure debit card and go you know, pay your mortgage. You can do unpaid work for yourself. You can be an intern at your own company and work for free. At least maybe then something that you make for yourself will actually pay off later. Because here at this company, everything that you make for this company, he gets to keep. And when you're done, you don't get anything for it. If he makes money off of it later, you don't get any of that money later. Now, another thing I'd like to point out here are the things that he's looking for. For example, this one is for data science in Python. Python AWS, S3, EC2, SQL, DevOps and Network Administration, Bash Scripting, SSH, Git, Postgres, Pandas, SciPy, NumPy, TensorFlow, Jupyter Notebook, R, Celery. You don't get to call this an opportunity when you're not offering anything in return. Opportunity means that you're going to gain something from it and there's nothing that anyone is going to gain from this other than having to deal with you being a douchebag CEO. One other thing I'd like to point out about this douchebag CEO, his tagline is execute like the Spanish Inquisition. Now, if you don't know what the Spanish Inquisition is, it was way back long ago, thousands and thousands of people were tortured and killed and this is his tagline. Like, I get it, right? He's, he's executing, you know, getting work done because hustle and CEO, you know, and like, we're, like the stereotype of the Silicon Valley CEO, we get it done, like, but really? Execute like the Spanish Inquisition? It would be a pro tip from me to you that you change this before one of your investors sees this. If you Google the Spanish Inquisition, you can see that they allowed torture, death tolls, and sentencing. It was, it was really bad. Just go read about the Spanish Inquisition. This is a really bad tagline. You shouldn't use it, and you should pay your employees. He's been the founder of What's Busy for nine years, and he still can't manage to pay any of the people that want to work for him. So just think about that for a second. Does that sound like a very successful company? Shit, I'm, I'm gonna become the CEO of any, any app idea from now on that I have, I'm just gonna make myself a CEO, make some bogus company, post it on AngelList, and just offer people unpaid interns and have them build my company for free because that seems to be the big brain play that all these douchebag CEOs do. Why, why pay when you can offer someone exposure and then have your app built totally for free? And then you walk away with a bunch of money after you sell it off to some, some company. I looked up this dude's LinkedIn and he was a summer analyst at Merrill Lynch. And I'm assuming as an intern, since summer analyst, and I'm gonna bet he got paid. Yet, he can't manage to do the same for his own intern. And again, let's not forget about this sentence here. We believe if something is valuable, you should be rewarded. And that's not greedy. You're being the greediest CEO that I've seen in a very long time. Five open positions, 0K to 0K per year. Why you shouldn't apply. You thrive in environments with zero accountability and negligible execution. This guy's obsessed with execution. You like punching the clock from nine to five and not a minute more. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing your job and going to live your life. You wanna work on problems that are already solved in a guaranteed roadmap 10 years out. Boy, you've been CEO of this company for nine years. What you mean? Why, you should apply. 
You hate predefined roles based on your age and experience. So this just sounds like someone who's gonna make you do everything. But when he says it like this, he makes it sound like a bonus. You hate predefined roles. No, give me a role so I know what to do. Don't just start giving me things that aren't my job because you can't find anyone else to do it. You like building new industries from the ground up. I mean, I like building new industries and building new applications and building new, new things and solving problems, you know, when I could pay my bills. You love learning and being around experts. What are you an expert in, dude? You're a self-starter. You wanna create something important and think too many startups are pointless just like this company. Here are some things that they want you to build if you happen to take this internship at this company. Billing and trials management products, customer onboarding optimization, search interfaces and data visualization, scheduling interfaces, data pipeline performance. If you can do any of these things on a functional level, you deserve compensation. This is not internship stuff. This is all real stuff if you can make this. Let's look at the front end. A Google Map UI, a recommendation engine UI, Employee and owner interfaces. Again, if you can do any of these things in the front end, you deserve to be paid for this stuff. Hmm, maybe what we should do is we should call this company and we should ask a little bit about how they operate. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. So I thought it would be fun if maybe we went ahead and sent them an email. We'll just be John Rogers today. In your own words, you say, if something is valuable, you should be rewarded. Yet, you won't compensate your interns. Let's look at his education. BS in biomedical engineering, most prestigious academic scholarship that paid for school plus booze. Wow, man, this guy seems like a real professional here. What I do, I like to lead, inspire, and help teams execute on time. This dude's obsessed with executing. Growth strategy and execution is a skill. Locations, Austin, Houston, San Francisco, Silicon Valley. This dude's omnipotent, I guess. With the Rona, nothing is a given but we guarantee that we will further the career of those willing to work, learn, and hustle, whether with our company or elsewhere. Searching for someone who can build and manage design patterns and front-end UI. You must own your work. You will be exposed to marketing strategy and business development at a senior level. The right candidate will question, push back, and know when to run at full speed. The right candidate will know when to push back, he says. The right candidate should question why they're not being compensated for providing a shit ton of value. I mean, look at what they want. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoy these types of videos where we call out the, the nonsense in the tech world with all these douchey companies that think they can take advantage of people and call it an opportunity, maybe hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, I have a Discord. You can drop links to other stuff like this if you want. And check out some links in the description. They help support the channel. I got all kinds of stuff in there. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.